Uh, like, it's almost more effort to pull it up four corner on the curb. And by the way, we're about to see in uh, a few more steps here, the car turn right there. Whip, skip, whip, whip. That's not where the car goes. That's the mulch. I'm sorry? No, it's not, but it's not in traffic that way. Well, that's better. That's not the worst violation, but the car returns right there. You want to take it for me? Or for yourself, really? What's that? You can take it for yourself. No, I don't. Why not? Are you hassling me? No, I'm asking you politely. I'm... Okay, I'm saying no politely. But you didn't do a polite thing with you. All right. We're always getting the hood, hood flag. Put it here so it's not obstructing his view. Get a nice uh, suction there in the wind. Um, whoops, maybe not. That didn't work. Sorry. Go with the magnet instead. Yeah, the flag's not really sticking. I'm going to go with the magnet instead if that's okay for you. Get off my car. Well, see, I'm um, the Cartnarks, Agent Sorry. Sebastian. Agent Sebastian. What is this? I work for the Cartnarks. I blocked your attack. Now, sir, the cartwheels get gunked up how? By getting dirt and junk in them by someone like you being the lazy bones. Got another one for you here. I'm going to go. on your Twitter account. Or it's, uh, well, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. We're on the radio on the Woody Show. How's it going, sir? This guy's being a giant lazy bones. He four corded it over here. Would you like a sticker? Yeah, what's up, Cartnarks? You know, people think. So we get a lot of guys roll and girls roll up like you. They think, oh, I must pay you or whatever. You just randomly showed up, right? Yeah. Just never met each other. Like, Here's your sticker, What's sir. Up, Appreciate man? it. You and God's word. Thank you. So what's your name? Jordan. Jordan? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jordan. Let's see what this guy's up to. Where'd he go? Is he doing the jump out now? He's uh, He thinks we're some kind of social media presence, which we are. We are available on all those platforms. And uh, he's... Let's see. No, he's, he's taking off. I think that's uh, sort of a... Get out of the way of the parking space here. I think he's sort of a self-aware lazy bones. He kind of realized, oh, I'm already a jerk. I'm already a dip, poop. But uh, I don't want to inflame that by in being more engaged and engaged. Uh. So I'll give him credit for that. He's, you know, at least somewhat conscious of the world around him. There he is at the stoplight there. He's already got the magnet, so we won't reapply another magnet. But uh, it just shows to go, yeah. He's sitting there on his phone too, texting and driving. Well, it looks like can't say for sure so i can't make that accusation in in truth but uh it's just the worst i mean again lower violation here but not where the carts go and like we always talk about terrible for the wheels and it's just unsightly like that's that's sort of like the, the tier of the fence goes you know blocking traffic etc etc damaging cars whatever it just it looks bad they have carts scattered everywhere in your neighborhood around your store anyway cart our south uh, yeah yeah a couple problems here uh, well three four five yeah uh, six eight problems here all right so obviously the cart in the mulch with look at that wheel all gunked up with mulch and dirt and i don't know crystal geyser one thing i've been noticing time and time again narcoteers that appears to be the preferred pea jug of, of choice uh, I guess it's just so large, and it's got a nice carrying handle. And we got doggy do bags and beer. I mean, look, this is uh, not a good situation, but uh, this is West Hollywood, so what do you expect? So what we're seeing over here, long distance there at the other end of the lot, is gonna be an attempted walk-off now in about three more steps. Those wheels are gonna lock up on her. Yep, there they go. Because she wanted to just leave the store with them. Oh, now you can't. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna load their carts into the other basket, the personal basket where they should have been all along, or load their bags, I should say. And they're gonna ditch that cart right there, blocking the driving lane, creating a traffic hazard. Now, Narcoteers, unfortunately, what's gonna happen here is two things. They're gonna get an old lady exemption because they're two old ladies. And number two, there'll probably be some kind of language barrier when I explain the situation to them. Let's see what happens. Again, could be wrong always surprises in the cart narcs world but let's find out and see -wee -wee. that's not where the cart goes that's the middle of the driving area now people can't drive their cars through here I know, I know. yeah the wheels are locked up huh would you like for me to take it back for you i can do it you're gonna you're just gonna leave with the car where were you going with the cart you don't know yeah it is, okay that's all right i got it i got it i got it i got it yeah yeah so you uh appreciate the uh the effort there 
And we called it uh, two or three for three, four for four, whatever it is, Cartnark Tears. How's it going? Cartnark's out. Gonna leave it right there, just blocking the driveway. There's a foot for this, and they'll turn off. Oh, well, that's the idea. That's why she, she was gonna just walk away with it, but the, they oh, lost it. Yeah, see these, that, oh. that little plastic thing there? So what you gotta do, and there's one on the back too, back here. So you gotta like, yeah. So she was just gonna take, she was just gonna steal the cart. I mean, not steal, borrow, but. for the parking lot, right? Well, yeah, and like, that's the thing too, is you don't, it's not your cart. The store lets you borrow it and you put it back when you're done. But not everybody thinks like that. Some people are more selfish. And... All right, that's the idea. That's the idea. All right, Narcoteers, this is a little bit of an interesting, I don't know, side observation. This is one of these automatic delivery robots. Uh, that is, I think they go to like 7-Elevens here in West Hollywood and... Oh, yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah, how's it going? Yeah, it's, it's steering pretty well. That's pretty cool. Let's see if it hits this uh, nice lady now. She had to kind of stop though. I, actually, this is the first time I've seen one of these in action and obviously... Yes, I've seen one all day. It's pretty cool, huh? Let's see how it does. Oh, I think, and he, he may have just, the guy may have just said it there, they're watching on a camera. I think at least the first edition, I don't know what edition this is, they do have a human controller back there kind of like helping it learn its way around. But so far, uh, and I guess the thing like either magnetically locks or whatever, based on its geolocation. Yeah, nice rice here on the ground. Uh, but you know, hey, looks like so far so okay. It's making its way to wherever, and that guy's just throwing stuff on the ground. Wherever it's headed. Let's see how it uh, navigates. Yeah, where were the front facing camera? I guess, oh, there are all kinds of sensors up there. there. Headlights, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know where if it's headed to or from a, uh, on delivery. So it says on the screen there, like it's headed to somebody's home. And it's just chilling right here at the sidewalk. Pretty interesting. Cartnark's out. <laughs>